So welcome to the behind the scenes of my site. First, um, I just want to show you kind of how the summary block works. Three different ways to make you a better blogger and make your site a little more functional. So let's start with the actual blog. To summarize, you're going to need to categorize your posts so that you have something to summarize. So if you click on your post, each individually, then you'll be able to see tags and categories. For example, my category on this post is color. Now you can be more extensive with your tags, with your categories, I would say keep it neat and tidy. That way you can really get um, the summary that you want. So I'm not gonna edit this, but I am gonna go back and I've just set up a test page to show this on. So let's say you wanted to create an archive of different things. So an archive for color content. You can add a summary block. Make sure that you're choosing summary and not gallery. We'll start with the wall. So select all posts. It's going to give you all of the posts um, on your blog. And you can edit the alignment, you could make it center, you could put the metadata, you could change the text size. To be honest, I prefer for it just to be the image. So I take everything else away. And then you can choose the number of items. So if you really want to do an archive, 30 would work. If you want to keep it, you know, the most recent 10, then you can do that as well. And then change your date posted. I prefer none. Um, I like to think that most of the content I'm sharing is timeless. Of course, if it's not, then you might want the date posted. And you can also do secondary metadata, like the category or author, if you have multiple authors. Oh, excuse me. It's late. <laughs> now, like we were saying, we only want to share color content. So under the color category filter, I'm just going to type color. It pops up because that's one of mine. And you'll see that it's now only giving color content. So these are posts that I've made about color. Now, personally, I hate how spread out these are. So I'm going to go back in and go into layout. And the gutter width, which is the gutter between the two images, I'm going to tighten this up. I usually like it around a 10 for my site. Um, and that could change. And if you're using a template for your blog post images, sorry, the window's open. Um, if you're using a template for the blog post images, then these are probably all going to align very well. If you don't, for example, a little earlier in my blogging career, um, I had these two. Now, those aren't the same size. So this is where it's going to start to be a wall. If that bothers you, then under your summary block, and your layout, you could choose either a carousel or you could choose a grid. And the grid you can control the aspect, so you could say that it's a square and then it's going to fit much much better, um, except for this one, which maybe you could just go back in and edit the thumbnail for that post. So this is a great way to create an archive and keep it, keep it in a nice clean look. You can see that for my own personal blog, um, this is exactly what I've done on my pages. So my style files, which it's taken so long, um, these are summary blocks of that. And then I have, you know, um, kind of lists I've made, whatever. So it's a great way to create archives.